Hello everyone and welcome to episode 6 of Astro Fridays and today is all about Rise Up. So before we talk about Rise Up and everything about it, I want to play my favorite song from last episode, um, Crazy Sexy Cool from their mini album Dream Part 2. Crazy Pretty, sexy, face and body. No ege, banan, sunga, gachi. Nane mari mari pidi wazi ana, darling. Chon lune nan bane boring go ya body. That was Crazy Sexy Cool, my favorite song from Dream Part 2. I love the song so much. I've been playing it so much and I will continue to play it a lot. And any excuse, occasion, opportunity for me to play the song, I will take it because it's such a great song that I think more people need to listen to it. So today is all about Rise Up. and. What another amazing album this turned out to be. And I'm having so much fun. Like since Dream Part 1, like, oh my God, my enjoyment with this album has just been going through the roof. And like with everything, (laughs) there are also voices that started sticking out more to me. And this is the first album where after listening to the songs I wanted to go and check out lyric videos and everything to see like who was singing what because a couple of voices three in particular really really stuck out to me and after that I went to check out like a basic guide you know those um 
how is it called an helpful an helpful guide um i checked it i check it out and yeah <laughs> i'm pretty sure so right now i love rocky i love jin jin and i love mj they are definitely definitely the ones standing out to me um in the album so when i was listening to this album a couple of voices and rappers <laughs> stood out to me uh so i was like uh, who is that i need to know who is rapping here i need to know who is singing here so i went and i checked out like that lyric video and i found out um it was those three that I kept really noticing through the really noticing through the the music and everything. So I really wanted to um find out a little bit more about them and while doing my deep dive I just fell in love even more with them and yeah. Uh, I'm pretty sure right now my biases in the group are MJ, Jin Jin, and Roke. Now, when it comes to this album, like I said, I really love it. It's definitely a solid one. But I have those two songs that I just can't get out of my head. They are definitely the standouts, the ones that stayed with me for the longest, the ones that made my daily playlist. And whenever I think about this album in particular like those two songs are the ones that come to mind so i want to share those two with you i have my top two number two is always you
that is my second favorite in this album, Always You. And for me, Astro has just found the perfect balance between their rap line and their vocal line. And it really shows through the music. There's just something about it that just feels like this is exactly the people that should be in that group. It's exactly the type of sound that they, they should make. Like everything feels like that is what it's supposed to be because they just found the perfect way to utilize every single member and they complement each other so well that the music just comes out amazing and i love the song i love the vocals i love the rapping i love the melody like i love everything about the song and lately their albums have really been amazing like they're quality just my enjoyment level everything about it has just been through the roof and this is no exception i really do love the song a lot my favorite in this album is stay with me And that was my favorite song from Astro's Rise Up. Um, 
stay with me and oh the song is just so beautiful i really really love that um there's just something about the song that's really just that's at my heart string and i really love songs like this where you know even though they are slow songs they just have this invisible effect on you and it's only by the time that the song is over that you realize that you might even have been crying or like it has really touched you without you knowing and I just love that because this proves that you've been so in the moment with the song that everything else that happened really um didn't matter at that time and I love the song so much it's just a type of song that makes you to like drop everything and focus on it and I really love it I love the vocal I love the rapping I love everything about Astro and like I said those later albums they really have been 100% my vibe um I just found like the astral that i fell in love with on the first listen i really love everything that they do the way they go about making music their music feels so beautiful it's like something that is fragile you don't want to like break it or something it feels so 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 pretty and i love that so much like i said they really found the perfect balance with everybody that is part of the group and they found a way to make music that is so uniquely them but still show everyone differences but it, without like disrupting or having one part of astro standing out more or one part being overshadowed like everything is always so balanced it always feels so nice and nice and polar polish and it feels like just luxury this is what I hear when I listen to Astro just luxury and I really love that so this song for me is definitely my favorite out of this album and but the al album overall is definitely like a great one and I had so much fun um checking it out and I'm so excited for the next chapter because this is the third album in the row where I literally have nothing to complain about because it's just so good. So I'm so excited to see like if this amazingness spree is going to continue, like where the music is going to go. I am I going to find a new favorite album and everything. So I'm really excited. I really loved being on this um, astro journey. Like I said, right now, I'm pretty sure my biases are Rocky, Jinjin, Jin, and MJ. There's just something special about those three. And I am so excited to listen to more music, getting to know more of the rest of the members, and like being able to really differentiate everybody by voice. I think this is something that I really love and and really tells me that I really fell in love with an artist it's when I you know that first song when you know each and every second who is singing oh uh, it's just that amazing feeling it feels like I've really been invested I really love them so I want to find out so I'm so excited to reach that point where I can really differentiate who is who just by their voices and yeah, I'm just excited for the rest of the journey and what Astro has to offer in the future. So that's it for me. I'll see you next week for another Astro Friday.